Hey guys, welcome back to TomZang.us. Uh, today I am presenting this program on your iPad or iPhone or iPod called Audio Galaxy Mobile. And it's made by AG Entertainment Incorporated. Uh, it is a free software, uh, again, is both available for your iPad as well as iPhone and iPod Touch. And what this application does is it allows you to uh, stream uh, music off of your computer. Uh, be it PC, Windows PC, or Mac, um, you would be able to use this software on uh, your iPad or iPhone to stream uh, the music off of your, uh, you know, computer. Anywhere on your computer. It doesn't have to be iTunes or Amazon Cloud. Anywhere that uh, you have music on your computer, you can specify it um, and it will uh, allow you to stream those music directly off of your computer. Now, given that your computer must be connected to the internet and be connected, uh, so that means it must be powered on as well at the time when you use it. I think there's also a feature where it allows you to upload it to their servers, but um, that's not the primary goal of this video. This video is basically just, you don't have to upload anything. Uh, it's basically you're just uh, connecting to your computer to listen to the music on your computer wherever you are. And um, so anyways, let me fire up the application. Uh, it's right here, Audio Galaxy. And so obviously, you know, this is the main interface and I have a list of songs I can shuffle, classical, liked, recent, and I can sort, these are the playlists, I can sort by artists as well. Uh, the graphics user interface is a little humbling, but um, it works for me, so, um, and you can sort by albums. With the album, it looks much better, you know, you get the um, album picture on the side uh, and you can sort by genres, or you can just search any song, you know. Uh, let's see. Bob Seger. Not sure if this will work. Oh, there we go. So I can play almost. Just take those old records off. Yeah, so anyways, and you have, um, you know, play, skip, you can Twitter it, you can Facebook it, you can uh, adjust the, the loop uh, style, whether you loop the song by itself or the whole album or the whole playlist, you can go back to the playlist, um, go back to the main graphics interface, you can do a few settings, and obviously, you know, this is how I logged in. And the good thing about this program is you don't have to create a new account. You can sign in directly from your Facebook or Twitter. That's what I liked about it. I hate it when, you know, uh, programs ask me to, you know, just make repetitive login information. Um, but this one actually uses your Facebook, so it's just right on. And you can adjust the high quality music depending on the connection. Uh, and I think this allows you to do it over 3G as well. Um, so, and you can also lock it, and pretty much it. So, very simple stuff, um, but you do have to um, install it on your computer, and this is what I show you on my computer right now. All right, so we have here my computer screen, and as you see, uh, the website for their website is audiogalaxy.com, and uh, notice right here, you can click on login with Facebook, um, you know, if it's your first time, you got to sign up, and uh, you can either create a new account or connect using an exi existing Facebook account. But since I already signed up, I'm just going to log in. And um, you know, if it's your first time after you log in, uh, be it you know whether you register a new username or using your Facebook credentials, they'll ask you to download a program, and uh, the program is. Um, kind of small. I think it's like two megabytes, so it shouldn't take that long. What it does after it finishes installing your computer, it just scans your whole computer for specific for music. And after, you know, as it is doing that, it'll update um, this playlist right here. So it shows you how many songs I have on my computer. And if you wish to, you know, speed that process up a little bit, you can go to their program and click on view. Uh, well, actually, let me see. Uh, your music folders and so you can choose uh, what kind of music you have and you know 
I can check wherever my music folders are located and that speeds up a lot of stuff because by default it only checks in you know your public music folders so obviously I have a music folder so I check that and it just speeds up the process so uh, pretty simple stuff um, I think it's a very useful tool um, it's free so uh, you know there's a lot of other programs that allow you to uh, upload the music to their servers and then stream it off of their server that way I find it uh, that case to be useful if you're you know if you if you only got so few music and then you know doesn't take that long to upload it but I have a lot of music I literally like 50 gigabytes of music it would take me weeks to upload it so I find this to be very useful but one thing one negative thing about this is your computer has to be on and has to be connected to the internet at the time you want to actually stream the music which is not a bad thing for me my computer is on 24 7 so uh, anyways guys that's all from me today I hope this uh, happens to be a quite informative video please do do comment and rate uh, and subscribe to my channel it helps a lot so until next time I'll see you here at tomzen.us thanks